from the Newsmax studio in New York City, here is Steve Malzberg. Christians from Mosul in northern Iraq have fled the city after being given a deadline of Saturday afternoon to convert to Islam. Extremists from al-Qaeda offshoot ISIL gave them a choice of denouncing Christianity, paying a protection tax, or death by the sword. All right, folks, uh, what you just heard is going on and has been going on, and now it's ISIS. And by the way, this whole ISIL, that has a whole different meaning, which we'll do another show about, because that, that's to, uh, very dangerous in, in and of itself. And our president calls them ISIL, too. We'll talk about what that means one day. Uh, but what's going on is that uh, Christians are being killed uh, or, or, or t told to leave, convert, get out, pay a tax, be killed. I mean, it's just insane that this is happening. And our pre have you ever heard Obama address this issue? Have you ever heard Kerry address this issue? No, because Israel builds settlements. They're the real evil ones in the Middle East, you see. Uh, joining us now is Mark Arabo, president and CEO of the Neighborhood Market Association and national spokesman for the Iraqi Christian minority. Hello, Mark. Hello, thank you for having me. Uh, it, 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 you know, look, I'm, I'm Jewish, okay? And it just, I, I've done so many shows on this and I just don't get it. I don't get, I, I mean, I, I know our media is left wing, uh, but I, I still don't understand how they could sit by and watch this happen. I know our, our president is a proud Christian and he hasn't said boo about this. And it's not just started with Iraq and Christians, uh, uh, you know, at the hands of ISIS. It's been going on in the Middle East and parts of Africa for years and years and years and the world is silent why why do you think that is mark well first of all I thank you for having me on your show uh you know jewish and chaldean were first cousins so i'm in good company when i'm in your program <laughs> thank you i, I can tell you that um, we're doing everything we can with the state department and members of congress we're able to craft with congressman juan vargas uh, resolution uh, house resolution 663 which actually forces uh, the hand uh, of the federal government to really act because this is a global humanitarian crisis. All the reports we're hearing is uh, confirming that our worst nightmare has been confirmed. Uh, this is a genocide, and we want to make sure that we don't turn a blind eye on another on a Christian Holocaust. I mean, we've seen 95 percent of Christians have left uh, Muslim. The remaining five percent have stayed there and been converted to Islam. Um, we have to do everything we can in our power to make sure that uh, Christianity, and not just because of Christians, but any religion all throughout the world, anyone that's attacked or being persecuted for who they are, should never happen in 2014, and it is. And we're frustrated with what's going on, but we're cautiously optimistic, and we're not giving up. I'm we're going to Washington, D.C. Uh, we're doing everything we can with State Department officials, members of Congress. I might be going back to the United Nations in a few weeks, making our case, because this is not just the United States' problem. It's a global humanitarian crisis. Absolutely, and absolutely, Mark. And let me just say, when you come to New York, uh, please uh, let our guys know, and we'll we'll have you up here if the, if 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 we get it all worked that out. We're right uh, a few blocks from the United Nations. Um, a million and a half Christians uh, in Iraq uh, in 2003 when we went in there, and now it's uh, dropped to about 400,000 uh, under ISIS. Uh, and, you know, you, you, you see similar stories and hear similar stories all throughout uh, the Middle East. Uh, and, of course, Christians predate, uh, uh, you know, Muslims in, in, in the Middle East, uh, um, I guess, specifically in, in Iraq, I would imagine, uh, um, by, by, by a lot, a lot of years, correct? Right. No, that's uh, very true. And the heartbreaking thing now is uh, Christianity in Mosul is dead. Uh, there are no Christians left. And right now we're working really hard to get the 400,000 people that are still there. We want to get them a safe passage into Turkey or into Kurdistan. But the one issue we're having is ISIS or ISIL has been taking away all the passports. They took all the property and they burned everything. So when the folks are going to the, the border, they're having a difficult time entering to the regions. And so we're asking for uh, the United States to really talk to KRG and to, Kur and to Turkey and telling them we need a safe haven and a safe passage for these folks. And the world community needs to act. This is a Christian Holocaust and it's gonna get worse and we can't have this happen. We need to learn from the mistakes that the world has made in the history. You know, we have to make sure that. 
You why, can't turn why, do you, why do you think, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I've had uh, my, my good buddy Bill Donahue, the head of the Catholic League here in, uh, in New York, uh, I ask him this question uh, often. I said, why, why has there not been more, why doesn't the world organize more? Why doesn't the world's Christians organize more? Why doesn't the world's Christian uh, leadership uh, in, in ver various denominations, why don't they organize? I mean, my goodness, the numbers are, you know, uh, overwhelming. Uh, why, basically, is there silence on this issue, not only from our president and our State Department and, and the aforementioned, but, uh, you know, from the, the Christian community here and abroad? Why is there not more people like you? Well, that is the magic question we're trying to figure out, but right now we're just focused on doing everything we can. We've asked Pope Francis to intervene as much as he, he can. We've asked all Christian coalitions and really all walks of faith, all hu human beings that care about humanity to step up right now and say, in 2014, genocide should never occur. The last time the world has seen this was Bosnia. But in Bosnia, we had 10,000 people. Right now, we're talking around about 400,000 folks in a region that are being persecuted, beheaded, slaughtered, mutilated, raped, and 50%, half of them are children. And I wanna thank you so much for elevating the conversation because uh, before now, uh, we've been, we're trying really hard to get national media to cover this as uh, more than they, than they are because this is a global humanitarian crisis. Well, let me say, Mark, you, 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 and you know, and anybody who has your cause at heart, is welcome on this show anytime. So Thank just, you. just know that. And and you know, we we have gone to bat uh, for Muslims in Bosnia, in uh, Al uh, Albania, in in Kosovo, in uh, in Serbia. Um, I'm not I'm not suggesting military intervention necessarily, but certainly uh, some kind of. Uh, Effort, some kind of uh, some kind of recognition. I mean, I, when you say you know you, you you talk to Congress and you talk to uh, um, uh, the State Department, do you feel you're getting anywhere? Well, when I went to uh, Washington two weeks ago, uh, it was a really successful trip. In two days, we were able to craft a resolution. So the United States Congress has a resolution in their hands right now. It's in the Foreign Affairs Committee. It's called House Resolution Six Six Three. And we're asking for the American people to reach out to your members of Congress and tell them, let's pass this resolution as a foundation for this new law. And let's give these children and families a chance not just to survive, but to live. As human beings, we need to make sure that we have compassion for people that are being slaughtered for, for merely for just being Christian. And the world community needs to come together of all Face. I don't want to. I don't want to make this into uh, into something fictional or hypothetical. But uh, it, you know, it's a, that that's more of a game I play. But I do. I, I would be curious to know your opinion. Um, if this were the other way around, if Christians in Iraq or or but let's stick to Iraq uh, were slaughtering Muslims, uh, you know, forcing them to convert or, or 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 be killed or get out or you know everything that's happening to the Christians, what do you think? The, the, the outcry would be? Uh, you know, it, it'd be hard for me to say uh, or answer. Uh, I, I really am just focused on doing what we can to save uh, gotcha. Gotcha. Christianity as a whole. And, you know, it's much broader than uh, Chaldeans or Christians in a region. This has world implications. And this is a genocide. This is a Christian holocaust. The United States government, members of Congress, are about to go on recess in August. We've been clear in telling them no member of Congress should go on recess until they pass this resolution to do the foundation for this law. UN and NATO should send in peacekeepers right away and let the world community know that Maliki needs to protect the minorities, Christians, Kurds alike, or Iraqis need to find a new leader. Because when you have a democratic Iraq for everyone, Sunni, Shiites, Kurds, Christians alike, a democratic state, incredible things will happen. The best testament to that, the best country in the history of the world is America. And we need to make sure that in America, we're doing soft hand in diplomacy. We don't feel we should send in more troops. We've lost over 5,000 of our sons and daughters in this war. And it's unraveling before our eyes. But we, on the other hand, we need to push United Nations 
to do a safe passage for these Christians and these families, and we'll do everything we can as human beings first, with a human heart, to save these families, to save these children. They're being beheaded. You know, ISIS is beheading children that are holding their heads uh, as trophies. As, as trophies. Yeah. Yeah. This should this should be appalling to every human being on this world. Mark, thank you so much. You, you have a, a website or anything people could, could go to? Sure, it's markarabo.com, and we're doing everything we can to elevate the conversation. Okay, markarabo.com, and uh, spokesman for the Iraqi Christian minority. We'll be in touch, Mark. Thank you very, very, very much. Folks, this is, uh, this is very, very, very important. Um, we're coming back with Gimme Five on the Steve Mulsberg Show. Don't go away.